What's up, Libra? And thank you guys for tuning in. All right, guys. So, love, February. Let's see what is going on for you. Um, I changed this up just a bit, guys, because before I used to do a singles reading, then I used to do a couples reading. And what I found is that since you guys are the same sign, you're dealing with the same energies, regardless of if you're in a relationship or not. So it was literally me doing the same spread twice you know, in my eyes. So I really want to switch things up and I want to just be more efficient. So I'm going to do one spread, but then at the end I'll have uh, different advice for singles and then for couples so that we can distinguish, uh, you know, what you should do in each case. Okay. All right, Libra, let's see what is going on. What is happening for the sign of Libra in love, February, 2018. What is happening for the sign of Libra? All right. Okay. All right, guys. So the energy that you have here is the King of Cups. All right. So for some of you, there's going to be a water sign that's going to be very significant. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. If not, if this is the energy that you guys are bringing forth, then this is going to be you having a lot of emotions towards somebody or just uh, feeling very loving or tender towards a certain person. Okay. Not being afraid to show, you know, what you feel. Now, we have the death card here where there's going to be a big change that happens where with the three of wands, you're either getting something that you have been waiting on or you're turning your back and looking out to see what life has available for you when it comes to love. All right, so let's see which is which. The first card, guys, that we have is the hanged man in the reverse for the past. So with the hanged man in the reverse... Instead of just going with the flow with a situation, there may have been things that you were trying to force, okay? There may have been things that weren't necessarily the best for you when it came to love, but you were still trying to go towards it anyway, okay? This is when we don't allow life to just flow the way that it should. We kind of just uh, try to force certain situations and try to force people to do certain things or ourselves to do certain things. And we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse, so... Uh, for some of you, maybe you were dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who was overly emotional uh, about what was happening here. Or it could have been you guys trying to force something and just being all in your emotions because of what you're trying to force. And we have the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, there could have been a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that was very significant, but your feelings are kind of all over the place, or maybe their feelings are all over the place with what was happening. And we have the Eight of Swords. So there is something that you were really in your head about. The biggest threat when you see the Eight of Swords is ourselves. It's our mind. It's how we look at things. It's how we perceive things where we feel like we're stuck. We feel like uh, there's no way out or we don't know how to navigate through a situation. But there is a way out. We just we're thinking so negatively that we kind of bring ourselves down without even realizing half the time that we're doing it. All right. And you guys have the Seven of Wands in the reverse where you're dealing with a situation where there's a lot of adversity being thrown at you. Okay. Whether you were causing it or the other person was causing it. And you looked at a situation and said, look, I, I give up on this. And with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, you felt a huge loss because of what it is that you have to give up on. Okay, for some of you, it could have been, you know, specifically a monetary loss that you had here. But something that you're losing for sure, and with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, there was a great deal of unhappiness and dissatisfaction with this issue. The last card that we have for the past is the Five of Swords in the reverse. So although there was a loss... You know that you wanted to do everything you could to avoid conflict at all costs, all right? You didn't want pettiness. You didn't want arguing. You didn't want anything like that, so you did what you could to avoid it. And with the moon card, there could have been secrets that came out or maybe secrets that you guys yourselves were holding. And we have the seven of swords in the reverse. So whether it was secrets that you guys were holding or there were secrets that somebody else that you were dealing with was holding, the secret came out, the cat was out of the bag, and this, you know, regardless of what side you were on or what, you know, side of the spectrum you fell on, 
you just didn't want problems, all right? You didn't want to move, uh, move forward with this. And it's something that, you know, felt very burdening for you guys, okay? Now, in the present moment, the first card that we have here is, excuse me, the Eight of Pentacles. So with this Eight of Pentacles, there's something that you're working on. It could be you working on yourself. It could be you really immersing yourself with, you know, actual work so that you could kind of forget. Or, you know, maybe there's a new person in your life or maybe you're still dealing with this person from the past, but you're working on something. And with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, there's somebody here who has been cut out. There's something or someone that you're not communicating with at this time. And with the cherry in the reverse, you feel that you have no control over this, okay? You feel like it was just kind of a downward spiral and, you know, there's you're being pulled in so many different directions. But the most important thing is you feel like you don't have power in the situation, all right? And it might be something that you're trying to work to get through or maybe you're still trying to work on the situation, all right? And we have the three of cups in the reverse, so this could be a third party situation, whether you guys are bringing in the third party or somebody else is bringing in the third party. But with the next card for the present moment, we have the full card in the reverse. So when we follow the path of the full card in the reverse, it's almost always going to lead us into problems and roadblocks because it's like you're excited about going into something or there may be a path that you're looking to go on with a particular person. But it's not going to be a good idea. It's it's not going to be something that you're going to want to risk. Why is this full part of the reverse here? The Empress in the reverse. So there's definitely something here that I don't see moving forward or something that you guys don't want to move forward with. Something that you see as detrimental for you. But with the Two of Pentacles, although it's not a good choice to move towards whatever this is, or whoever this is rather... You're trying to find balance, and I feel like you guys are between a rock and a hard place. Do I stay? Do I go? Are they being honest with me or not? You know, is this something that I want? Or who do I want? Because, you know, the person that has more than one person, it could be you guys. Okay, so all these energies here, they're uh, transferable. So there's something here that you're trying to juggle with. A decision that you have to make, or maybe two people that you're dealing with that you have to choose one. Okay, and we have the Magician. So there's definitely something that you guys want to manifest here. Now, the next card for the present moment is the Seven of Cups. For some of you, that's going to be choices in terms of lovers. Who do I want? Who's going to be the best for me? For others of you, you're in a situation where there's too much illusions. All right? You have a smoke screen in front of you. You're not seeing things clearly for what it is. Okay. And we have the Justice card in the reverse. So for some of you, you could be giving that smoke screen to someone else, okay? Doing something over here, okay? Let's say this is my hand doing something over here, but you're going like this. So the person's only focusing on this. They're not focusing on what you're doing here. So you could be providing that towards somebody else, or it could be the other way around, where you're in a situation where someone's playing games with you straight up, and you're sitting there, you know, not seeing it clearly for what it is. You have that huge fog in front of you. But there's something that's not right here. And we have the temperance card. This is something that's going to fuck you up. This is something that you're you're not going to feel good within yourself while this is happening. Someone's definitely playing with your emotions. Or you're playing with their emotions. Okay. And we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So whatever it is that you're dealing with, regardless of who the catalyst is to the issues, is just something that's not going to work out. At least right now in the present moment. Whatever you guys may be putting effort into it, saying that it's a waste of time, it's a waste of effort. Okay. Or maybe... Uh, it's vice versa, where that person is realizing that this is a waste of time or a waste of effort. Now, moving forward, going into the future, the first cu uh, card that we have is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So either you're returning or reaching out to someone from your past, or they're returning to you or reaching out to you. Now, this could be for, uh, you know, forgiveness. Hey, I'm sorry, I realized that what I did wasn't cool. Or this could be them trying to reconcile or you trying to reconcile with them. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is trying to come back, or you're trying to go back to someone, but it's going to be imbalanced. There's going to be one person who's doing more of the effort than the other. So you have to ask yourself if it's worth that, if you're the one who's putting in more effort. And we have the Four of Swords in the reverse, where 
You put a lot of thought into how you want to move forward with this. Do you want to go back to them or not? Do they want to go back to you or not? But you think about what's the best and most logical way to move forward, and you do that. You move forward. Now, let's just see what direction you guys move forward in. We have the Ten of Cups. So for some of you, you could be moving forward with this person, and it's, you know, this happy, loving, you know, Brady Bunch view that you're looking at. And we have the Knight of Cups. So, you know, it kept showing up that there might be uh, a water sign that some of you were dealing with, but maybe some of you are going in the direction of a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this could be you guys being in a place where you are not afraid to show your love for this person. You're not afraid to show your emotions. It's like you're wearing uh, your feelings on your sleeve. And we have the King of Swords in the reverse. So, in this case, there may be a situation here where there's someone that you know has the capability of making you very happy. But there's something that causes you guys to kind of go into a shadow aspect of yourself. Okay, because with the King of Swords in the reverse, this is your energy. So to me personally, out of all the kings in the tarot deck, in the reverse, the King of Swords in the reverse is the cruelest. But the reason for the cruelty could happen for different reasons. Because this is someone who's very selfish. This is someone who can be tyrannical. This is someone who can become abusive mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, verbally. But there's different things that push us to it. So for some of you, you know, I, I'm going to be real. Some of y'all, you leavers, you guys know I love you. But some of you, you guys might just be assholes for no reason. Okay, just going to put that out there. For others of you, you're going to feel like you get pushed to a point where now you become an asshole. And now you, you know, decide, I, I have to think about myself and I have to do what's right for myself. So, uh, you know, there's two ways to look at it. So I don't want to sit here and say, oh, you guys are going to be assholes. No, because there might be something that someone does to you or maybe something that pushes you to that. We all have that shadow element. We all have our breaking points. Okay, so for some of you... You might have someone who causes you to reach a breaking point, okay? But it's something that you're going to feel very anxious about, that you're going to be losing sleep over. So for a lot of you, I feel like you get pushed to that. And it's saying that whoever it is that you're dealing with, the best judgment here would be to go into hermit mode and to avoid any sort of conflict or problems, all right? Because there's someone here with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, whether it be you or whether it be someone else, that they're being promiscuous. So you have to ask yourself where you fall. If there's more than one person that you're talking to, this is something or somebody that you may want to leave alone because it's just going to bring a lot of drama. If there's someone that you're talking to that you feel like something's off, it might be something that you have to withdraw yourself from because they're just not being who you need them to be at that time. And the last card that we have is the Ten of Swords. So there's some sort of betrayal that comes in. Now, for some of you, because, uh, you know, it keeps coming up as a water sign, but regardless of, you know, regardless of who it is, sorry, guys, like 10 cards fell, so I'm going to put this back, but regardless of who it is um, that you guys, you know, are talking to, uh, or, I'm sorry, what I meant to say is the person, you know, because it's showing um, the King of Cups, you know, in the beginning of this reading, and now this water energy is still with you. So regardless of the sign, if it's the same person from the past, if they showed you or something happened where you were unreliable towards them or they were unreliable towards you, you really have to keep that in mind, okay? Because we want to believe in people and we want to uh, hope that the best outcome will, you know, come to pass. But when a person shows you who they are, you know, you got to believe them, all right? We could all say pretty beautiful things that come out of our mouth. But it's, it's really the actions that people need to pay attention to, whether it's with us or whether it's with, you know, somebody else. You know, take what people say with a grain of salt, but pay more attention to how they act because that's, that's the truth right there. All right? So there's going to be some sort of betrayal, whether it's from you guys or it's happening to you guys. And we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse again. So for some of you, maybe if you're dealing with a Leo Aries or Sagittarius, it's going to be that person and you're going to feel betrayed. Okay, or it could be you guys betraying someone. And we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So for a majority of you, I feel like you get betrayed. Okay? And 
it's going to be something that really brings you out of your element. So now we're looking at the King of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's really messing with you. And somebody's bringing out, you know, a lot of, you know, shadow elements of, of your character. Okay, so is this person worth it? Is this worth it? And we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups in the reverse and the Hierophant. Interesting. So, what this is saying is that even though it might be uncomfortable for some of you, once you stop talking to this person, or once you let this person out of your life, you know, you let them go, that is when life takes a beautiful turn. That is when a amazing, you know, sense of luck comes into your life. For some of you with the Hierophant here, you could be dealing with a Taurus specifically that comes in. Um, you know, not all the time, but Taurus and Libra, and I said this like in the last video, uh, but that's, that's marriage compatibility right there. That's a very, very good mix. Okay. So for some of you, maybe you're dealing with an earth sign or a Taurus specifically, and that's going to be something that really takes off and goes, you know, and moves forward in a very good way for you. Okay. But there's definitely a new start here, but you guys have to cut out the bullshit first. It's not going to come to you until you do that. So there's someone that either they let you go or you're going to let them go. But what comes in after is going to be very beautiful. And it's going to be something that resonates, you know, uh, with your soul. So if there's, you know, if there's something that you're thinking about letting go, just know that great things are going to happen once you do. Once you close that door, another will open. All right, Libra. So let's go into the singles advice. Okay. See what direction you guys should take here. What is the advice for Libra Singles, February 2018? All right. All right, guys. Straight up. Someone here has secrets, whether it's you or whether it's somebody else. There's someone being deceptive. There's someone who's being secretive. And there's going to be heartbreak, all right, or, you know, potential heartbreak that could come if you continue to go down a certain path. With the Six of Cups in the reverse, this is someone that you have to leave in the past. You know, you could try to do it amicably, but it's something that just has to be left in the past. And with the Two of Wands in the reverse, it's something that's going to make you feel lost, okay? It's something that's going to bring a lot of conflict and problems and someone that you have to walk away from okay and once you do walk away you get temperance and look the page of pentacles and the three of pentacles so for some of you you're gonna have an earth sign coming in that you're actually you know able to deal with and you're able to build with and you're able to have something that's you know more tangible in your life all right leave a couple let's see what's going on Now, for the couples, what it's saying is that there may be something that's presented to you, okay, a temptation that may come your way, okay, and it could be someone that wants to come into your life or maybe someone that you're tempted to get into their life despite the fact that you have a partner and you have to be strong and you have to say not today, Satan, okay, because uh, Unless you guys are able to reject something that comes in, or and this could be your partner too, okay? So for those cross watchers who, you know, you know you have a choice between your Libra and somebody else, if this temptation is taken, if you take the bite of that apple, you're going to lose your partner, okay? And it doesn't need to, it doesn't necessarily even have to be another person. It could just be a decision that you know your partner would really be against. 
something that they've already advocated to you that, you know, they're not with. Right now is really not the time to explore other options if you want to make sure that this is something that's good. All right. And, you know, I always say in life that, you know, people have free will. You can do whatever it is that you want. But whether it's you or whether it's your partner, if you want to go in another direction, my advice this month is just do it the right way. Okay, cut ties with one person before going towards another person. Because it's going to be something that, it's not so much going to, you, you know, it could bring heartbreak and it could make people upset. But at least it clears your karmic path in the future. Okay, so that's, that's the way I am. Okay, because I, you know, there's been times where I've been tempted. Okay, it happens. And... I don't do it out of fear, you know, I don't I don't stay faithful out of fear of what the other person is going to think. I stay faithful because I don't want that shit to happen, you know, to me in the future. And that's kind of how karma works, no matter what spectrum or what side you're on. Karma's not going to come back, you know, just with the next person that you talk to or, you know, a situation where it's like, damn, that was unfair. Karma usually comes back at a time where it really, really is going to hurt the most because that's what it takes for us to learn our lessons sometimes. All right. So, you know, if, if you're just dealing with somebody else and you're not really serious about that person, that's probably not when karma is going to hit. When you find that person that you're like, okay, this is it. I want to spend my life with you. That's probably when karma comes back because karma comes when it's going to hurt, when you're actually going to feel that lesson come in. And I'm not saying that's going to be you guys who stray, but you know, again, for frost watchers, just make sure that you keep your karmic plate clean. Okay, but there's someone here with the page of pentacles and the page of swords. You want to make sure you don't go in a particular direction because it's going to cause a lot of conflict. All right. It's going to cause, you know, a fallout and a lot of arguing here. All right. If you accept this offer or if your partner accepts this offer, it's going to cause huge imbalance in the relationship. So be strong. Not today, Satan. Okay. Libra, I love you guys. Be smart. Be wise. Do what's going to benefit you the most and your, you know, what's going to keep you most balanced and what's going to bring most peace to you. Um, you know, and for those of you, because there are going to be people who are tempted. Okay. And something that I really want you guys to understand, especially if there's someone new who's coming into your life. I feel like this happens a lot because of social media and because of how easy it is to access other people. You know, if something goes wrong in our relationship. I actually made a status of, uh, on Facebook about this, but I used to get so many messages, and I still do. I get messages from people, from men, and even women, <laughs> who are in a relationship, and they're like, hey, Mal, what's good? Yo, what's good, sexy? Let's talk. And the problem is, when we have issues in our relationship, it's so easy to see someone who's so beautiful on social media, or someone that seems like they have their life together. Guys, we all have shit that we got to deal with. We all have problems. And people get so excited by the thought of someone new or something new and exciting that they say, oh, well, I don't want to deal with my partner. I don't want to go through, you know, what it's going to take to, you know, heal from the situation or to fix the situation because this new person, ooh, I need a girl like that or I need a man like that. Once the honeymoon stage is over, guys, you're still dealing with shit. There is not one couple in this world that does not go through shit, okay? Maybe in the beginning, don't ever, you know, maybe in the beginning you're going to feel good with somebody in that honeymoon phase, but never compare the honeymoon phase to someone that you've been with for a while because shit is going to hit the fan, okay? That's, that's just normal relationships. There's going to be times where things are uncomfortable or you're pissed off. So you have to ask yourself, whose shit do I want to deal with? Do I want to fix this and do I want to strengthen this relationship and do we want to get through this obstacle and move forward and have a much stronger bond? Or do I want to leave and go to another person who seems to be a better option right now, but that we're going to have problems a few months down the road anyways? Because there's not going to be one person you date that you're not going to argue with that sometimes. It's, it's inevitable. We know that. That's the you know reality of a situation. So if you are getting tempted, ask yourself if it's worth it. Okay, we all got our shit. We all got skeletons. We all got, you know, shadow aspects of us. I know that when I get super pissed off, 
you know, I'm not a pleasant person to deal with. And that's a problem because a lot of people think I'm very, very nice. And so when I bark at them and, you know, shit goes down, they're so surprised. They're like, oh, I thought you were a good person. I'm like, well, I'm not a fucking doormat either, so I will fucking shoot you out if I need to. So you have to act accordingly to what it is that you want. So don't think about what's going to, you know, I'm, I'm talking so much, guys. I'm sorry. You know, I, I usually don't give advice during uh, love readings. But whatever it is that, you know, you're dealing with right now, you got to make sure, you know, that you're not going for instant gratification. You got to make sure that the direction that you choose to go in, no matter what, that is going to be something that will benefit you long term. OK, because I feel like that's the problem with society. We want things that look good and feel good and, um, you know, just sound good. And we want it now. OK, not knowing that that could be something that really puts us on a shitty ass path down the road. And karma is real, y'all. Karma is real. And it comes back, you know, in a way that really messes with us sometimes. So be smart this month, Libra. I love you guys and good luck with everything.